Shalom. All glory and praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone. And Shalom to the hopeful elect out there. Let's put in the truth. Uh, men, women, and children. That's part of the elect and one third. Um, this is a World War Three update. And I'm going to jump right into this article. So, I'm going to read. It says, uh. Turkey scrambles six part pairs of F-16 fighter jets this evening in a fresh show of military might. This was 10 hours ago. They took off from uh, Eskinshire -S 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 Air Base at around 7.30 p.m. local time, 4.30 p.m. UK time with loud blast. A Turkish source said it comes just a day after Russia's ambassador was shot dead in the Turkish capital uh, in, in Ankara, ramping up tensions between the two countries. Off duty police officer uh, Mef Mevlot Mort uh, Altinitis gunned down uh, Andri Andrea Andri Andrea. Karvlov in the brutal attack at an art gallery yesterday afternoon. <laughs> Moscow responded with fury with a spokes, spokeswoman for the foreign minister saying it regarded the assassination as an act of terrorism. It says Turkish President recapped uh, Tayyip Erdogan is understood to have made a picnic phone call a panic phone call so like it panic phone call to Vladimir Putin in the wake of the murder no group has claimed responsibility for the attack which is said to have been motivated by Russia's intervention intervention in war turns and war torn Syria <clears throat> The killer, who, who was smartly dressed in a suit and tie and fired m multiple shots, shouted in Turkish, Don't forget Aleppo, don't forget Syria. He also shouted Allah, Allah Akbar, the Arabic uh, uh, phrase for God is great. After shooting the ambassador, the gunman cl cl climbed to the second floor of the same building and was killed by police after 15 minutes of 15 minute shootout. Mr. Putin said Karvlov's murder was a pro pro provocation aimed at derailing Russia and Turkey ties in the peace process in Syria. Prime Minister uh, Dmitry uh, Dmitry Medvedev Medved, 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 I don't know how to say his name vowed to take vengeance against the group responsible. Uh, su uh, su suing Russia will not leave it unpunished. And Mr. Erdogan told Turkish State TV, this is a provocation to damage the normal, normalis, normalization process of Turk, Turkish and R Russian relationships. Yeah, this, this could have been um, the United States. Um, so the United States probably has something to do with that. So, so, so Russia and, and, and Turkey wouldn't come together. Like it, like it talks about in, um, in prophecy in, in the Bible, in Ezekiel 38. Could have been, it could have been the U.S. that did that, to set the whole thing up. You know, they do everything else. So who knows? But relations between Moscow and and, and Ankara have long been strained over the conflict in Syria, with the two support opposites, opposite opposing sides in the war. Russia is an ally of Syrian President Bashar al-Assad, and its airstrikes helped Syrian forces and rebel resistance last week in Aleppo. Turkey wants Assad to be out, 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 out uh, regarding him as a brutal tyrant and supports several large rebel groups in the country. I believe that's... 
Yeah, that's it. On that. But you know, all this ultimately is leading up to nuclear war, man. And um, really the return of the Lord, man. And when the Lord comes back in the midst of this World War Three, that's about to happen. It's gonna be a lot of deaths. He's gonna be killing a lot of people, man. Um, so let me grab some scriptures and then close this. All right, this is Jeremiah chapter four, verse seven. It says, "The lion has come up from the thicket, and the destroyer of the Gentiles is on his way." He is going forth from his place to make thy land desolate, and they and thy cities shall be laid wasted without in, inhabitant. All right, because <clears throat> the Lord is bringing this division among everybody. Ultimately, it's the Lord that that that, uh, that did it. You know what I'm saying? So, all right, let me grab another scripture. Habakkuk. Chapter 2, verse uh, verse 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not it will not tarry. Right? Yeah, what's about to happen? It's World War Three, man. It's coming, man. It might be tearing, but it's it's gonna come, like the scriptures tell you. So I'm going to grab one scripture in Luke chapter 12, verse 50, or 40, 49. Let's read it is. <clears throat> chapter 12. Okay. Yeah, Luke chapter 12. I'm going to start at first. Verse 49. Luke chapter 12, verse 49. He says, I am come to send fire on the earth. This is the Lord speaking. He says, I I am come to send fire on the earth, and what will and what will I if it be already kindled? He says, How I wish it were already kindled, basically. And he's talking about, <clears throat> he's talking about this place being destroyed. Um let's go to verse 51. It says, Suppose ye that I am come to give peace on earth. He's asking the question. That's just, just what the Lord's asking. He says, suppose ye that I come to give peace on earth like everybody always talks about. Nah. Let's read. I tell you nay, but rather division. This is what the Lord wants. He, he's bringing this division, man. He says nay. Uh, I mean, he hasn't come to the earth to bring peace. Come to it to bring division, man. This whole, this whole place, this whole world is wicked, man. All right, the whole place is wicked and got to be destroyed. So <clears throat> let me grab uh, let me go back to Oz. I'm gonna go to Isaiah now, real quick, and then I'm done, man. Um, Isaiah, I think it's thirteen. No, yeah, Isaiah chapter thirteen. Uh, uh, yeah, Isaiah chapter 13, <clears throat> verse 11. And I will punish the world for their evil and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease. And I will lay low the hidingness of the terrible. You know what I'm saying, like the Lord said, man, he came to bring fire and division. You know what I'm saying. You understand, like yo, the scriptures from the Old Testament to the New Testament talked about the destruction and, and division, man. That's it. So let me read Malachi chapter four, verse one. And that's it. For behold, the day cometh that shall burn as an oven, and all the proud, yea, and all that do wickedly, shall be stubble. And the day that cometh shall burn them up, saith the Lord of hosts. That it shall leave them neither root nor branch. Let's talk about World War Three, man. Cause this last word's gonna be with nuclear, uh, nuclear missiles. You know, and and when the Lord come back with the chariots, they're gonna be tearing things up too, man. So 
Yeah, with that, I'm going to say all glory and praises to Yahweh, Abba, Hashem, Yahweh, Shah. The one to the apostles of Great Millstone and Shalom to the elect. 144,000 and the one third men, women, and children out there. And Shalom.